I disagree. I've looked at the city and, and infrastructure is here already. Well, I mean, realize that this week I've met with companies that uh, were from 30 people proposing 30 people to 560 people. You know, so don't don't make any assumptions. We're uh, we're after every bit of it that makes sense. And well, you're on, you're the one that knows sense. why the people do not come. You you're on the front lines, and I I know I knew your predecessor, and I've known the people before that. <coughs> you're the one that has the feedback that says, why did they not come here? Why did they go to the Lincoln uh, Industrial Park? Why did they go somewhere else besides here? Those are more important answers than the questions of how do we go after next? Is that if you're soliciting those companies, there's a basic reason they're not here. I know that one of you is saying is that we don't have that workforce in that age group. And there's a chicken egg if you have the industry and workforce to be here. We don't have the things that attract that age group. Scott, let's use titanium. Okay. Use titanium. That was a, that's a great example. I want to differentiate between some of these macro issues too, which is that workforce issue versus the short term and other issues. Uh, we uh, worked on a recruitment of a titanium facility a couple of years ago, and uh, it was fantastic. It was going to be 325 engineering type of jobs. It was uh, going to supply a lot of rollover impacts. They were going to make titanium blocks that could be used uh, in golf clubs, and, you know. But they were just going to make the titanium blocks. The next company that came in next door to them was going to fabricate it into whatever that next use was going to be, whether it was a fuel cell or whatever it was going to be. And uh, so a lot of rollover impacts. Uh, the we had a great site for them. What we ended up losing, and this ended up going to uh, Greenville Spartanburg Market, was the engineering capabilities that they had out of that ICAR Clemson facility down there. That, uh, that for the multitudes of people that we were talking about, that was what their driving force was. Now, of course, that was either prior to or during the, brand, the first beginnings of the engineering center that we had here. Uh, the, the sort of original discussions of the engineering center were for, this, for us to develop a machinist <coughs> academy to be used as a recruiting entity for ZF Limporter when they were looking at, at here in 2005. Or was it earlier than that, 2003 or 2005, mm -hmm. something like that. So uh, from that discussion came the ultimate discussion regarding expanding it into the North Carolina Center for Engineering Technologies, which we have today, and which we use as a focal point to try and recruit those entities that are engineering related. We now have an institution that we can argue you know, this is why, Mr. Titanium Company Manufacturer, you know, that's why you should come here versus Greenville, South Carolina. They may have ICOR, they may have Clemson, we've got this. Development of these institutions, and that's part of the rationale that we're developing. We have developed it for the data center market. Here's why you should be here. All at point one, point two, point ten. We've got all these reasons why you should locate here as a data center. We're developing that, and that's the whole gist of this document that I gave you. The next target markets that we have are the energy, emerging energy sector. Why? Because we have the eco complex, we have the solar facility at uh, Marshall Steam Plant. Now there's reported to be a solar facility on Apple that's going to be as big as any on the Eastern Seaboard, reported to be. I don't know anything about it apparently. But uh, the, um, yeah, Charlotte and the whole uh, energy, new energy branding effort that they have there, obviously Westinghouse, Turbo Coating, all these entities that we have beginning to cluster here. Who was it was talking about cluster? Harry, was that you? 
You're talking about the clustering of these industries. Let us be the other end of the barbell, so to speak. Charlotte, Hickory, and that whole connection being the uh, energy, emerging energy, alternative energy sector uh, corridor, just like we're doing with the data center. The third would be, what entities do we have? Uh, the, the strongest argument that we have made over the last hundred years is for manufacturing in general. We need to make sure that our supporting institutions are strong and capable of being that catalyst to provide advanced manufacturing opportunities here. We argue, here's reason one through 10 as to why you should locate here. Not just being in the middle of the eastern seaboard, not just having a lower cost uh, operating environment, not just being low union, but here are the specific Catawba County reasons why you need to be here. Manufacturing Solutions Center always carries weight with these guys as far as what is that and what do they do? We don't have one of those. If we can make those sort of aha experiences when a client comes to town that differentiates us <coughs> from somebody else, we stand a whole hell of a lot chance better to recruit them than Canadians. So that's the whole, that's this thing in a nutshell. Yes. Scott, it seems, it seems to me you started out talking about the elephant, which you know, everybody checking their spears from their vantage point makes all the sense to me in that it is just fact as, as much as gravity is not optional that a future for any organization or person is predetermined by how that future occurs to them. Their actions and performance will line up in direct correlation to how a situation occurs to them. If there is not an agreement within, a, within, the, larger, within, within the community at large as to what that future is going to look like, performance will line up in a million different ways and you will have no greater result. You'll have a million different results. So what you call an elephant to throw spears at, I would flip that, I would go past the elephant, I would say, okay, once, once that problem is, is extinguished, how do we then accomplish whatever it is the future is, if it's an advanced manufacturing oriented economy, within a beautiful family-oriented community, great. I think, you know, I'm, I'm not here to assume, I don't know if that future has been agreed upon by whoever the stakeholders would appropriately be within a community. I don't even know who this, all the stakeholders are. But it seems to me that until there's that agreement, the future's already written. Just like when Foresight came out in 2004, if there is not an overall agreement to subscribe to a larger vision, from whatever vantage point you're coming from, then you will not have the result. So you will continue to push and fight and organize around your tactics and strategies as you have set your goals, which the word that jumped out at me was prosperity, you know, prosperity in the long term. That, that's something bigger than, that's something to subscribe to. But unless you have the support and agreement and have that situation occur <coughs> to all the powers that be, same for them as it does to you, you'll be fighting solo along with those organizations that fight their silos solo, and it will continue to be the same. Mm -hmm. So I don't know that this is appropriate for the Economic Development Council or something bigger, but it would seem to me that what you're doing would ultimately line up beautifully within a vision of the future, if that vision has been agreed upon by those that need to agree to it. And has that it happened? It definitely should be a lot bigger. The EDC plays a role in what I'm going to say the small to mediums to the largest, mm -hmm. you know, the recruitment up. Right. But, you know, you got a lot of people on this end of the spectrum, you got a lot of other spectrums as well that we don't. Well, and until we that shifting of how it occurs to everyone else, until that shifting occurs, the future's already written. People's performance, organizations, institutions, inno innovative programs, all the performance around that will line up with how it occurs to that individual or organization, period, without fail, just like gravity's not optional. One of the concerns that we have is, you know, it used to be just like Charlotte, there were five people that ran Charlotte. You know, and if you went to... Uh, Mike Bell. Yeah, you, you know who they are. 
Uh, if you went to them, if one of them had an idea that he wanted, I'm going to, I'm going to have a football team. You know, I'm going to create a Whitewater Center. <laughs> I mean, these are, what about Johnson and Wales? What are those things that sort of are driving the recruitment of the 20 to 44 year age group's interest in Charlotte now? Whether or not they're successful or not, who cares? They're, the concept is that Charlotte's cool. How do we address that? I mean, one, a lot of people say we don't want a thing to do with Charlotte, but they fail to realize that the thing that we have is the closest proximity to the Charlotte airport. What we're on the back side of here is an ad that we've been running, uh, marketing us as Charlotte's Great Northwest so that people can come ride their mountain bikes and go to Linville Gorge and Lake James and hike in the mountains and live in Hickory and have the greatest family experience that you could imagine. At the same time, you can live in South Park and get to the airport from there. Or, you know, whatever those god-awful places are in the southeast part of Charlotte. I think the most important thing, is, probably the most daunting task that you can do, and I say you because you're speaking about this, <coughs> we is that, is that until you convert a vision into defining expectations and then coalesce, what you're going to have is uh, you're just going to have branching out and I want this and I want this. So what may appear to be bad for somebody at Charlotte of, of, of a dictatorial type <coughs> approach, Sometimes a benevolent dictatorship sometimes may be good for a period of time. I'm not proposing that we have a dictator, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but if we could coalesce to the point saying, this is what we're going to go after. And then a goal is, is fun to have. We all set goals, but do you expect that to occur? And until you define that and say, yes, we expect it, here's what they are. And then rally the point around, you know, I think there's more than rallying a point around the statue for polio in downtown Hickory. Since I'm a, a part of that, because I had polio when I was a child, it's a great thing to have, but I don't think it brings much industry to Hickory. But I think if you had a, 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 if your point was to bring a sports complex to Hickory and you had enough people support, I think you could mold and bring, bring that. That could be the spear you're throwing at an elephant. But beyond that is, the, is just not only the vision, but also the expectation. So yours is daunting, but. I don't know how you can do it unless you have, unless you and Danny and all these other people put together and say, actually, we're a group. I don't think you're going to be able to do it, and I know Danny can't do it at the chamber, and nobody else can either, because you guys are really almost competing against each other when you shouldn't be. Now, I don't say, now I don't mean on the surface. I'm just talking about in, 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 in theory, you look at it, it's, if you almost would coalesce together and come up with a plan, but I say whoever it is and say, we're going to do this. The Kennedy was famous for that because he said we're going to go on the moon, go to the moon. Well, the American people rallied around it. I know that's an exaggeration, and Hickory's not going to build a spaceship. But that's the kind of thinking we have to have. If we don't think about it, we're not going to have it. If we don't believe it, it's not going to happen. If we don't expect it, it's not going to happen. The issue from these outside entities looking in at us as far as recruitment of industry is credibility. Okay, and we have to divide, define an objective and achieve that objective, and then we build credibility. Okay, the, the problem we're having is we're talking and we're not committing to an action. Now, we talk about it. And that's what we've got to move forward on. Oh, I